Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of August. Okay, so this is for the first week of August. What do I have for Pisces? August, what is it? Second through, or third, second, third through the ninth, tenth. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now the first two cards in the middle are going to be the resolution or the connection between you and the other person. You choose a side. Which side is you? Ah, Eight of Wands, moving fast, communication. This is typically good news. Messages going back and forth. Justice getting what you deserve, something going in your favor. You may be receiving some sort of information or something. Uh, something is happening, okay? And it's very, this is positive. This is good news, okay? This is something getting what you deserve. Uh, there could be dealings with the law, but something going in your favor because it's upright. But this is the resolution or the connection between you and another person because this is the you and the other person spread so you may be communicating with somebody could be libra doesn't have to be um but this is things being honest being truthful balanced communication um honest communication um this is moving forward very very fast Somebody could be getting some karma, okay, because this is a card of karma, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is news being delivered and justice being served between you and another person, which is interesting. Four of Cups, reverse, that is seizing an opportunity, interested, taking it, didn't want it in the past, wanting it now, moving forward could be somebody could be dealing with a cancer this is moving in a new direction it's literally you know going for a ride taking a journey moving somebody could be moving this is mastering emotions getting in the driver's seat taking control uh, you may be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but this is uh, somebody that is very focused on money uh, may not have a lot of money, may be very materialistically focused, not stable, not secure, doesn't have a pot to piss in. Um, does things illegally, may pretend, may pretend that they have money and they don't have money. Let's get these cards over here. So that's one we got. Let's just see what we got here. Page of Wands reversed, Five of Wands reversed, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this per whoever's on this side is dealing with loss, and this is a big, huge loss. This is a loss of a business or the loss of a home. This is a loss of an empire. So whether this is your side or somebody that you're asking about, this is um, financial insecurity. It could be total ruin, total loss. There is some sort of competition. The competition could be taking over. Um, this is bad news with the Page of Wands. So somebody's getting bad news, okay? There, there's a lack of focus. There's a lack of ambition. There's a lack of drive. There's a lot of competition. This is some sort of... A uh, huge loss over here. So I don't know. And somebody is getting karma. There's karma in these cards. Somebody's getting their karma in the form of financial loss. Okay. Um, now the page of wands in reverse is definitely bad news. A loss of focus. Not excited. Uh, whoever this person is, they are a negative Nelly, and they may have a chip on their shoulder. This is somebody that. Um, 
makes excuses all the time, doesn't really have any ambition. And because this person doesn't have any real ambition and likes and, and is very petty, there's a lot of pettiness over here, they aren't finding success. They may have found some short-term success, but not long-term. Um, there could be some massive debts over here. This is bad business, illegal dealings. Um, there could even be some family issues, you know, family quarrels, family fights, okay? There's whoever this person is on this side is experiencing a setback. And they're experiencing a setback because they, uh, they're very petty. They like to fight a lot. They argue about everything. This is somebody that is very argumentative and is very negative, okay? They, they may be a know-it-all type of personality. So let's go over back over to this side for a second. Over here, we have somebody that is interested. They were interested in the past. If this was upright, they weren't interested in an opportunity, but now they are. They're interested in moving forward. They are taking it. They're taking the opportunity for love. They weren't taking it before. Now they're taking it. Now we're talking about the first week of August here. This is moving in a new direction. This is going on a journey, going someplace. Um, this is now the King of Pentacles can be one of two ways. It can be somebody that is financially unstable and uh, doesn't have anything to offer, or it can be somebody that is very materialistic and works all the time. Okay, so it could go both ways. This is somebody that is really, really focused on materialism. Work, 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 work. And is really focused on money and things and that kind of thing. We need to get some more cards. Who is this person over here? There's definitely some insecurities, though. This person, maybe, even though this person, if they do have money, they're still insecure. They're unstable in some way. They may not have the Midas touch, okay? Upright, this person has the Midas touch. In reverse, they don't. Um, they're unrealistic or they're not practical, whoever this person is. They're not very practical. But, and this, this could be a male or a free, female, okay? This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that is, is very much um, insecure. This could be internal insecurities. Um... This person is seizing a new opportunity. They're taking it. They're taking the opportunity to move on, okay, to go somewhere. Um, they didn't take it before. They were. They didn't, which is interesting. Knight of Swords reverse. Now the Knight of Swords reverse is in no hurry. Somebody's in no hurry. Maybe both of these people are in no hurry. This is in no hurry. There could be some fear here. There could also be some insincerity. Now this is this is moving very very fast too for some. It could be uh in no hurry, but it could also be moving very fast. This is not practical. Somebody's trying to move very, very fast or something like that. What the hell is this? What I just saw in my head was the, a car. I'm not sure if there's something to do with a car. Six of Pentacles. Now that is give and take, reciprocation. Somebody's not, because this is, okay, so I got it. Not really putting in effort, lazy. There's somebody that hasn't been putting in a lot of effort. But this is about reciprocation. They're going to be reciprocating. They're going to be giving. Somebody is going to be receiving something. Whoever this person is, is going to be receiving more than they re balance. Okay, things are going to balance out for this person. They're going to be receiving some sort of attention or some sort of gift. There's been some sort of delay though. Now they're going to be giving. Ah, Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is a this is a loss of some sort. Wheel of Fortune reversed is a setback. It is a setback. It's it's uh 
delays, the past, something, something's coming back, something's coming back around. So whoever this person is, is, is going back to something. They're going back. They're going to be going back and forth with somebody that they've dealt with before. They haven't moved on from this person yet. But the, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. The cycle isn't over yet. This person's cycle isn't over yet. I feel like somebody is coming in or somebody is deciding to reciprocate. They're deciding to take somebody up on an offer that they didn't take up before. But this Wheel of Fortune's bad luck, bad timing. There's something to do with bad timing here. It's not the right time. Something not working out. Something's not working. This, this King of Pentacles, something's not working out for this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or it didn't work out. Or they put a wedge in the, in the wheel because it stopped the wheel from somebody put a wedge in the wheel. They stopped something from happening. There could have been some sort of fear. Oh. Three of Cups reverse now parting of ways nothing to celebrate gossip competitiveness not happy somebody's not happy they're not happy this is a horrendous loss somebody is not happy about something whoever this person is there's, there's, there's no uh, coming together, okay? There's a lack of communication. There's no going out. There's no partying. There's no getting together. Maybe it was the wrong time. It was bad timing. But now they're taking the opportunity. They're taking it. They're, this is taking the opportunity. They're going to be going somewhere. Somebody, because that chariot is going somewhere. Somebody is going to be going somewhere. Oh, the world card, leaving the past behind, stepping into the future, going with the flow, accepting. That is acceptance. Somebody is going to be accepting. They're going to be accepting a new opportunity. This person over here has a new opportunity that is coming in. It, it feels like this opportunity was offered at one time, but it, it wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right time, so it may have been rejected, okay? It was rejected. Uh, but now there's going to be some sort of uh, stepping in, stepping into the, to the new beginning, okay? This is the end of a cycle. Before it wasn't the right time. Now we have a new beginning. Somebody has learned something. They're ready. They're ready to leave the past behind. There's also some travel here with this card in the chariot. This person's going to be traveling. This is freedom. This is being in the flow. Beginning anew. Beginning a new life. So this person is going to be starting something new. They've learned some sort of lesson. And it, this lesson may come from a horrendous loss. And I don't know what this loss is, but it's usually losses that teach lessons because the Wheel of Fortune is an unfortunate loss. Now, I don't know what the unfortunate loss is, but typically losses are what teach lessons. But anyway, this is a lesson learned, um, a lesson that has caused someone's evolution. There's a change of residence here as well. Somebody's maybe planning a move. Maybe it wasn't time. Now it's time. There's definitely moving forward and stepping into a new life. So this person is completing a chapter, completing a cycle that they were not ready to complete in the past. But now they are. And there is a new opportunity that they are taking. They were offered it before, but they didn't take it. But they're taking it now. So whoever this person is, is taking an opportunity and it does lead to success. It leads to a new life. It's the very beginning. It leads to a new beginning. So whoever this person is, they are about to step into a new person, right? A new life. Okay, this person is starting a new life. They're leaving the past behind. 
this person over here is experiencing uh, a lot of strife, put it that way. This person is experiencing financial hardship, uh, negativity, they failed to launch, there's competition, there's financial loss, maybe a loss of a business or the loss of a home. Um, this person is getting what they deserve, which does have to do with reciprocation. You notice we get the scales here and the scales here. There's justice here. There's karma on both sides. This person is getting some sort of good karma, and it appears that this person is not. So let's see what we got over here. Ah, devil, things getting worse. This person is going to be experiencing... Uh, something that is getting worse and it could be because of ego because the devil is ruled by ego and in reverse it is an extreme or it is breaking free it could be breaking free from ego but take a look at the other cards okay it looks to me as though there is some sort of toxic addiction or something that is illegal here that is uh, causing financial loss uh, I'm not sure what it is. What the hell is it? A lot of pettiness. The devil reverse is a disaster. It's chained. It's codependency. And it's ego. Oh my God. Page of Cups reversed. Now this is somebody's bubble being burst. This is, this is uh, not good news. Whoever this person is, it feels like they, they you know... I just happened to see the chains. I'm not sure what is happening here, but if somebody is doing something illegal, they could get locked up. Um, I don't know for sure, though. The Page of Cups reversed is um, shattered dreams, unrequited love. There's an unrequited love situation here. So, and, and there's an obsession as well. This person may be obsessed. They may be obsessed with somebody that does just doesn't feel the same way there's there's a there's unrequited love but now we got the ace of cups there's there's this is self love this is new love uh-oh we have the empress reversed now this is breaking free the devil is breaking free. It's taking back control. The Empress reversed is an individual that is very selfish, okay? Just being honest to you, honest with you. This person over here is not very loving. They are not very caring. And you know, this is about getting what you deserve. It is about getting what you deserve. So, you know, I feel like whoever this person is over here, uh, this is a termination of some sort. It's a termination or it's it's uh, an individual that is not unconditional love. This person is not very loving. They're not very abundant. They don't know their value. They don't know their worth. Uh, they're weak, they're selfish, they're, they're self-absorbed, they're self-centered, they may have a big ego. Whoever this person is over here, they are going to be experiencing some sort of uh, financial loss, okay? And, and, you know, there could be mother problems. Whoever this person is may have problems with their mother. Maybe their mother didn't love them, you know? Uh, you know, there's, there's an absent mother here. There's an absent mother here. But the Ace of Cups is a new start in love. And it does start within yourself. You need to take care of yourself. You need to nurture yourself. Okay? Um, the Ten of Pentacles. There's, there's, there could be a change in residence for this person as well. Or a, a change in the business. The Ace of Cups is very emotional. It could be a very, very, very emotional time for this person. This person may need some sort of emotional support because it feels like it's going to be very emotional. Um, it's breaking free from something you have been bound to. Pisces, I feel like you are going to be breaking free from somebody that, you know, had you uh, trapped in a situation 
whatever that that is this person and maybe it was some sort of obsession or whatnot maybe it was an addiction or something like that but this is breaking free it's severing ties with that um, whether it's a business or it's a lover or whoever it is it is definitely severing ties mm. Things are going to happen fast. You're going to need to think fast. Somebody could come in really fast. You may have a new love coming in fast. If this is your side, this is this is a love coming in very, 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 very fast. So whoever's side this is, this is somebody, you know, taking action and moving very quickly. Now, this is... Uh, unexpected all of a sudden this could be a sudden entrance or a sudden departure somebody entering very very coming into your home coming into your driveway you know this is this is somebody like speeding into your life Three of Pentacles reverse. Now this is can't work together. Lack of teamwork, lack of cooperation, lack of respect. There's no respect. There's no communication. There's lack of teamwork. There's there's somebody here that doesn't want to work together. They just don't. There's unrequited love. It's just, and I feel like there's communication that is ending with this person. You know. Whoever is on this side does not want or isn't getting the reciprocation that they're looking for. They're just not getting it. And I think there's going to be, it's the end of working together because this is breaking free. It's the end of communication. It's the end of teamwork. It's the end of this relationship. I feel like it's not good news. This person, it's not. Okay, it's not good news. Some whoever is on this side is not going to be receiving good news. Okay, this it feels like this is this is like uh, somebody's getting their bubble burst. It's almost like they're being told no, no. But there's an uh, there's another choice for love over here. Whoever this person is, is probably getting out of an unrequited love situation where there is no reciprocation. It's very, very emotional. They have been with a person that doesn't love them. But there is a new lover coming in very, very fast. That's what we got over here. It's very unexpected. So there's an unexpected opportunity for love coming in. For this person over here. After they have a complete loss. Someplace else. That Ten of Pentacles. That's a loss of a relationship or a home or a business. Or it was short lived success. But it's over. Okay. But there's some sort of surprise. Surprise. This is the reason why that didn't work out. There's a reason. Maybe maybe they they're bringing somebody that is a perfect match and you didn't you couldn't see that the one that you were with was not. This is a perfect match over here that is coming in very suddenly, very, very fast. But I also see a rejection here. So, and it, it may not be your usual type. This person may not be your usual type. There's definitely a rejection over here. There is. I know that there is with those two pages reversed. This isn't my type. This isn't what I want. 
not interested. So this is this is definitely a complete loss. There's nothing stable or secure. But there's an opportunity for new love. But seeing it and and accepting it is another whole story. Everything is going to turn out as it should. Be prepared for things to change fast, whether it's this week or next week. There's for, there's going to be a change in the residence. Somebody's moving, moving out or moving with somebody else or moving into another relationship with somebody else or they're moving out. There's a sudden departure, uh, which leads to a sudden entrance. It's It seems like it's very, uh, it's going to be a fast paced week. This person is stepping into a new life. They're not looking back. This person is feeling at a loss, but they have another opportunity. Good luck. <laughs>